Hi guys, this is the We Are The Mods um, RF Module Change Guide. Obviously you're taking your console apart, so I'll show you how to do that first. Obviously, take out your hard drive, and then remove your faceplate, like you normally would. You don't want a game to be in the console whilst you're doing this, because it could get damaged where you're turning the console around. The first part to take off is this top. There's two holes there and there. They're highlighted in the picture guide. All you want to do is get your small screwdriver, poke it down the hole, then you hear a snap, and then another one, and it pops up. And then on either side there's another two holes. Poke your screwdriver in where you can see the little tab, and it'll pop up. And same for the back one, pop up, turn it around. You want to keep a little bit of upward pressure to stop them locking back in whilst you're doing this. There's one more left, I think it's about, there we go, and then that's your top bent off, which should be. And next thing is the bottom vent, again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six holes. If you look in the little holes you can see the tab, just poke the tabs, poke the tab, poke the tab. And then back round to this side, there's three tabs again to poke in. The marks, you can see it closer when you're looking on your own Xbox. Now, we want to go to the back of the console. There will be six, seven little holes that you want to apply a little bit of pressure with your small screwdriver. And they should make a popping noise as you poke into them. And this console's been opened a few times before, so it will open easier than your brand new consoles probably. Once you start getting a bit of a crack, there we go. Now you want to lay it upside down, and there's one, two, three, four tabs. Again, little screwdriver, lift the tab up, lift the tab up, lift the tab up, and that's the bottom half of your case off. Don't need that now. Now the next thing I do is use a screwdriver again, pop off your eject button, because you don't need that at the moment, and there, with a T10 Torx screwdriver, there's one, two, three, or five, six screws to take out, so I'll whip them out quick. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. Now before taking the case off you want to hold it so it doesn't come off, flip it over. That's your drop your disk drive probably. Then carefully lift off your top case. As you can see this console has been modified. Now we've got the RF module here, this is what we're changing. First thing to do is just want to get underneath. Uh, I'll use my nail on top. Pop off that little white plate. Now with your usual T8 security or normal T8, there's three screws to take out. Pop these out quick. A little bit fiddly as you can see. Put so it down. Put them to one side as well. And one more down the bottom there. And then that is your RF module removed. Now you should have received your new one in the post which has been modified by myself. Just slot that on and uh, replace your screws. You will have to sync your controllers again because it's the, the RF radio frequency module so that's what your controllers tune into is the actual board itself not the console. But that's no big issue as long as you remember to resync all your controllers when you turn your console back on little fiddly screws, good job my screwdriver is magnetic these are available in our shop they're the standard controller screwdriver that we use and I'm not going to put the console all the way back together in the video because I imagine we're running out of time I'll get my power cable first of all, that's not the whole power cable power cable and I'll show you my new purple error light. Where my AV lead is not plugged in we'll get an error light. Turn it on. 
put this little bit of plastic on. You see that? That's a purple aerolite. Now I'll turn it back off again. And put the AV lead in as well to get rid of the aerolite. And we should have a normal blue ring of light. A modified blue ring of light. Now to put your console back together, it's just the reverse process of what we just did. Don't forget to put your eject button on, I've done that before. And that's about it for the RF module change. Thanks for watching.